Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kat and this is my Hallelujah Friday series where I try to do a haul every single Friday just for you guys. Uh, so today I've been collecting a random mishmash of things from the mall. Um, I was actually going through this pile and realized I have enough for a Victoria's Secret haul all in its own, so be on the lookout for that. That should be coming shortly. Um, but I have some random things over here in this lovely little pile. And you guys said you liked this setup better than my old setup. Um, it's actually much easier and the lighting is way better. So um, today is a snow day from work. You can't see it, but right out the window uh, is a bunch of freezing rain. So there's no actual snow, but it is, eh, there's lots of ice. So um, here I am on my lunch break filming this for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Let's go ahead and get into the video. So we're gonna start off with a tiny bit of self promo. Um, I picked up the cutest little note cards at Target and I just had to show them to you. They always have the cutest note cards for $1 in the dollar section. These are my absolute favorites. Are they upside down? They're upside down. Ta-da! They're like little mermaids and even the envelopes are adorable. Um, I have a Poshmark where I am selling a majority of my Victoria's Secret collection. Obviously, I'm still collecting stuff from Victoria's Secret, but a lot of my old stuff has tags still on it and everything that I just don't wear. So I've been selling a lot of that stuff recently, and I put a little thank you note, handwritten thank you note in every single one. So I picked up a few of these from the dollar store. I like to just keep those on hand for whenever I have a sale. Um, so I highly recommend if you do anything like that, always put a handwritten thank you note. I feel like that's a thing that's dying. Like, people would just send a text or call, but to me, like, in my family, if somebody buys you something, or somebody does you a favor, or just anything that you can think of that you should say thank you for, they get a handwritten thank you note from me. So, um, moving on into a little bit of makeup that I picked up. I ran into Sephora last night. Uh, I needed, my god. A whole bunch of tissue paper apparently. Uh, I needed a refill on my Kat Von D tattoo liner in Trooper. It's just the regular one that everybody in their it's not gonna even focus. It's the one everybody and their mom uses. Uh, $20. I tried everything to get the other one to provide me with more liner but it just won't. <laughs> even the upside down trick. Um, I ran into Ulta a hot minute ago for, they had like a 20% off coupon, which they do every once in a while, and then they also had something else happening, it was like a triple points thing, and then on top of that, you can now, if you guys have Ebates, which I'm not gonna like give you the spiel on Ebates, because I feel like everybody does that, and I don't even have my Ebates link below, I don't, I'm not even gonna try and sell you guys on it, if you know about it, you know about it, but now you can get your cash back via a gift card to a company instead of just cash back and waiting on that check so you get your cash back immediately. Why does it feel like there's something in here? What is even in here? I was gonna say this is already out. So I went to get a refill on my Gimme Brow from Benefit. This is obviously not the Gimme Brow. This is the precisely my brow pencil in shade five. It's the super long one uh, that has the pencil on one side and the brow brush on the other side. It's in my drawer. I forgot to grab it when I was grabbing everything else. Uh, they are no longer selling the Gimme Brow right now. I guess some idiot decided to put it on their eyelashes and had an allergic reaction to it. So they're having to change the formula. So they've taken it off the shelves and they are not selling it until they fix that formula, which really sucks because it's like one stupid person puts something that does not belong in your eyelashes like, you can only think of what they were thinking. Oh, I need something to make my eyelashes look darker. So instead of using the product that is designed to make your eyelashes look darker, cough, mascara, cough, I'm gonna put something that's designed for not your eyelashes. <laughs> so that's just beyond me, but I needed to try something else. I like this. I think it's, I'm obviously not wearing anything on my face at all today. Um, I'm not working and I didn't see the point in putting makeup on just to film a video for you guys. I hope you guys don't mind. I know I've been doing a lot more videos without makeup, but long story short, I needed something else. They suggested this to me. I think it can come out really, really dark um, if I'm not careful, um, but the darkest shade is the closest to my actual eyebrow shade. So if I did anything lighter, it would look 
weird. So I just have to be really careful brushing this out and making sure it looks more blended. Um, but when they get the gimme brow back, I will most likely switch back to that. I also picked up Via Online because they didn't have the color I needed in store. Uh, my favorite brush Shape Tape. And as winter has progressed, this is progressively too dark for me, which really sucks. This is uh, neutral, yeah, light neutral. Actually, it's a little bit yellowy for me. I tried it on in the store and the store lights are not the same and then it oxidizes a little is what I found. Um, so when this is empty, I'm gonna use it till it's empty because it's working for right now. But when it's done, I will probably get the next lightest shade in a yellow undertone. Um, and then it came with a little, did I actually get that from, I might've actually gotten this from Tarte and not from Ulta, but I got a little um, sample of the new foundation, which I really wanna try. Um, and I was gonna pick some of it up with that 20% off coupon, but they didn't have the color I needed. They only sent my Ulta like 15 colors, or I don't even know, maybe, maybe less than that. Maybe more like, well, how many colors even are there? <laughs> I don't even know. All I know is that they didn't have any of these darker shades at all. And this is from the first release, so they didn't even have the additional dark shades. Um, it was like like these shades here in the middle. They didn't have any really of the light shades, the really, really light shades, which didn't make much sense to me, but none of it makes much sense to me. That whole launch was such a nightmare. So, um, And then just because I wanted something fun, I went ahead and picked up a Buxom lip gloss. What is this? The Shimmering Pout Plumping Shine Lip Gloss in Celeste. It looks like this right here, which it's not going to focus, but you can still see the color. Um, it's just like a light pinky nude with lots and lots of sparkles. I've worn it in lots of vlogs. It's just really shiny. It kind of matches my lip color. I mean, now my lips just look shiny and they're gonna start tingling. Um, but I just really like this stuff. I like wearing lip gloss more than lipstick. Now I've kind of removed myself from the lipstick world. I don't know, I'm just not interested anymore. So I went to the Origins counter in my local department store, which is Dillard's, which I will show you a few other things, but I bought one tiny product and talk about over packaging stuff. They ended up putting it in this. Wait till you see what I got inside of it. So I mean, it's a super pretty box and I'm going to use it actually for photos for my Poshmark to like set things on top of like bags and shoes and such but I literally bought this that's it so she gave me your business card which that's how I feel about that um, and then here's the actual product and then a tiny little sample which I do appreciate I don't even know where my receipt is it's not in there not like there, there's absolutely no room for it in there let's be real here um, so I picked up the ginseng energy boosting gel moisturizer in one of the kits the origins kits when i was getting all that stuff at christmas time all the sample sets that's what it looks like um it's absolutely amazing it's really really citrusy like it smells like you know that the smell when somebody is peeling an orange across the room from you and it hits you in the face that's what this smells like i don't know if it actually has my God, that ingredient list, holy crap. Um, I don't know if it has any acid or anything in it. It has caffeine in it, biotin. Okay, it has folic acid, uh, linoleic acid. I don't know what that is. So it does have a few acids in it. There it is. There is a specific acid in here that I have to be very careful with. So I had used the entire sample of this and I've been using it pretty religiously for a couple weeks. My skin had really responded to it. It was really great. It feels really cooling and hydrating. And I was like, yes, I wanna buy the full size. So I buy the full size, I start using it every single day, my whole freaking face peels off. And I'm like, oh my God, what have I done? Because this was the only thing I'd changed, was adding this in full time, like morning and night. Before I was just using it at night, because I had a small sample. So, um, be careful with this. I have switched to using it once a day and not every single day. Like I haven't used it at all today. Um, I used the Tatcha water cream today instead. Uh, but be careful with it in case you have sensitive skin because it has salicylic acid in it. Um, but it, it is really nice. And I know that 
when we go to the beach in the summer i'm gonna put this in the fridge and this is gonna feel amazing on my skin when we come in from the beach uh, i'm just gonna have to be really really careful with it i didn't realize it had those acids in it um and the longer i used it my skin got pretty agitated so um but once i removed it and used my cetaphil for a while it was my skin just repaired itself and it was totally fine um but i do think this is a really good product if you do not have sensitive skin i would highly suggest it um and then they gave me a mask a peel off mask from the same ginseng line it's a really long rant for one product <laughs> we still have a lot of stuff to go okay well not really getting into the clothing and accessories as i said i went to dillard's which is like the Midwest Macy's essentially and I have been wanting a couple more pairs of key sunglasses yes uh, Amber I am now correctly saying that my friend from Australia was like gonna beat me over the head because I was saying quay like an ignorant American sorry guys I don't know everything um, so I picked up two more pairs of key sunglasses I'd seen uh, this first pair and I thought to myself man I really want those but I'm just gonna wait a minute. I'll just wait for them. I need to really think about if I want them So I went ahead and picked them up and these are what they look like You can see my setup on my old lady chair. That was my grandmother's <laughs> And you can see all of the stuff down there, but they are these silver ones. You can see that I'm watching The Bachelor over there uh, But I really love these they are gorgeous It's so weird because it almost looks like they're see-through, but they're just so reflective <laughs> um, they have little metal bar here in the middle I don't know if you can actually see that it's so hard because it's so confused on what to focus on I'm using a book as a setup because I'm a professional um these are really cute I can't remember which one was which one pair was 65 and one was 75 I think these were 65 and the others were 75 uh these are the other ones they are you've seen these in my Instagram they're kind of like gold metallic kind of I don't even know what tint these are but I really like them. I think they look really nice with my super blonde hair. Um, these are the, oh my God, I'm gonna butcher her name. Is it Desi? Desi Perkins? Desi? Somebody? Put it down there if I can remember it. Um, but they're from her collection and I really like them. They were nice enough to give me a couple of little sunglass baggies because uh, my blue ones that you guys saw that I had, I've already gotten a scratch on them and since they are colored like this. I can't just fix them like a normal pair. Uh, so if anybody knows how to fix a colored lens, let me know because I have a big scratch down the middle of my blue glasses because I was dumb but did not put them into a case. So along with Dillard's and on a separate trip, I picked up some things that I wanted that I've been staring at for a long time. I just wanted them, okay? I've been looking at these stupid Bailey boots for years and I've never let myself buy them so I just was like screw it and I picked them up so they're not even in this box I'm literally going to throw that box away I literally just kept it for this video um, these are the boots they are the shorter Bailey boots in black these are a size 8 eight and a half god I can't even see them they're size 8 uh, depending on boots, I can fluctuate between an eight and a half and like with my Nikes, I'm an eight and a half, but usually I'm a size eight. These are absolutely amazing. They're so comfortable. They have come in handy so much this winter. I've actually worn a, them a crap ton and they look brand new. So I super love these. They're amazing. I highly recommend trying to get them on sale because I did not. I just sucked it up and was like, I just want these boots. So I just bought them. Um, so long the department store train. I actually went to Macy's yesterday and I picked up this free people shirt. It was on sale um, Originally $38 marked down to 22 and then I had a coupon so I got it for $19. It's just a I'm not gonna try this on you guys. I have two shirts. We're not gonna do a try on haul for this It's literally just a white t-shirt um, It is kind of see-through but I thought in the summer it would look really really cute with um, a colored bralette and then like off the shoulder because it does kind of I can fit it off the shoulder on me uh, It's a size large and it's really funny because I mean you can see This is clearly a distressed top. I mean, it's got the ripped hems um, The bottom is all kind of tattered looking 
and the old lady cashier she was probably like my grandma's age and I was wondering like honey you must just want a job because you're bored because I know that like a lot of retired people just get extra jobs at like department stores or grocery stores because they're bored and I don't blame them but she's like honey you realize this shirt is ripped right you're buying a damaged shirt and I was wearing like the most ripped up torrid jeans um, that I was actually wearing in another video where I did a try on haul for my thrift haul, my last one. And the old lady behind me was like, honey, look at her jeans. She doesn't care if it's ripped up. <laughs> I was like, yep, I'm aware. Thank you so much for pointing that out to me. I really appreciate it. I would still like the shirt. Thank you. Like I said it in a really nice way, but I was like laughing in my head like, I know it's ripped. I know it looks crazy, but that's the trend. So, ta-da! Okay, so I don't actually have a bag for this item, uh, but I went to Ross. Um, for those of you that don't know what Ross is, it's like TJ Maxx or Home Goods or Marshalls or whatever. It's all owned by the same company, practically, I think. Is, Ro is Ross owned by them? I don't know. All I know is that I picked up these super awesome pair of leggings. I saw them. I really like the, um, the heavily printed ones, and whatever this material is, um, when you stretch it, it stretches some, and you can see the pattern kind of fades a little, but not too much. The Victoria's Secret ones are really good at that, and I couldn't believe this because I haven't seen any of these in stores, to be totally honest. These are Fabletics, and I've really wanted to try these, and they were literally only $10. So, um, they are cropped, so I thought they'd be good for when it gets a little bit warmer in the spring. Um, I tried them on in the dressing room. They are a size large yes large and um i was in the ross dressing room doing squats making sure these wouldn't slip off my rear and they did not and i'm really excited about them they fit really nicely they're very comfortable um and i'm excited because i had never seen these in stores and i'd been really wanting to try one but i could never get that um that like two pairs for 24 dollars or whatever the deal has always been. I've never been able to get it to work for me or like when it was like a sports bra and a pair of pants for $25. I could never get that to work for me. I don't know what it was. It would never let me buy the ones I wanted. I... So I was excited to see these because I've said excited about 14 times. So yay. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys want like a workout lookbook to see what I work out in. Do you guys want that? Did you catch my workout routine video that I put up a couple weeks ago. Let me know if you saw that and if you liked it. It should have been like in one of the pop-up cards in the corner somewhere at some point. And then the final item is from Tilly's. I have been staring at this shirt for a hot minute and I was like, screw it. So I just picked it up. Um, you guys know how I feel about my yellow Adidas shirt that I thrifted. Uh, this is basically the same shirt except I did not thrift it. Um, it's just an oversized, size extra large uh, Adidas shirt. I love the Hawaiian print. It reminds me of a Victoria's Secret print that was blue with orange flowers. Um, I'm actually selling both of those items. Actually, one item is already sold, but the sweatshirt is still there. Uh, but really comfortable. It was $26. I'm going to rip the tag off and throw this on. I'm so excited. I love my oversized adidas shirts they're so comfortable you guys just find one at the thrift store i found so many at the thrift store and they're so comfortable but i've just been thinking about this one for so long that i was just like screw it i'm buying it it's happening so that is everything i purchased let me know in the comments below what you thought let me know if you want that workout lookbook uh give it a thumbs up if you liked it and you want more hauls subscribe if you want to see those hauls coming up and become a warrior crew member and i will catch you in the next one love you warrior crew Bye.